Hey Digital Trailblazers, this is Leah Ray from DigitalTrailblazer.com and in this video we have a super simple hack that will allow you to automatically share your videos to Facebook every time you publish them on YouTube. Now with me today we have Todd. Hey. <laughs> and he's here to walk us through the actual technical setup of this. So you ready? Ready. Let's do this. So this is actually going to be a pretty simple setup. Uh, the service that we're going to use to do this is called IFTTT, and that stands for If This Then That, IFTTT, okay? And it's just IFTTT.com, and I'll have a link for this down in the description of this video. But if you haven't used this before, if you're signing up for a new account, it's pretty simple. Just click Sign Up right here. And you can sign in with an Apple account, with a Google account, Facebook account, or you can just create a brand new username and password if you don't want to use those accounts. Uh, for me, I'm just going to sign in with a Google account, and basically you just need to put in your normal email and password. And what you're seeing right here is basically the home screen. This is what you see uh, when you log in. If you log in for the very first time, you might see something else that's asking you to try out a new applet or you know to connect with Slack or something like that. And you can just skip that uh, to get to right here. If you ever need to get to the, back to this home page, you can just click IFTTT up here and it takes you back to this home page. Now, if you click get more, this is where it's just going to show you popular uh, automations that people have created and, and, and use. So you can explore this if you want because there's a ton of things that IFTTT can do. Now your main menu is going to be up here where you see your default avatar. If I click on this it pulls down my menu. Uh, if I want to edit anything in my account, if I want to change my email, my username, my password, you know all those things, I go to account. Activity where, is where I see any of the automations that have run on my account. So if I want to check the history of the automations that have actually ran, I can do that right here. Services are the are the actual social media accounts or devices that you have registered with IFTTT. Okay, so if I connect YouTube to IFTTT, that's a service that I will see in here. If I connect my Facebook page, that's another service that I'll see in here. If I connect my garage door, that's something else that I will see in my services. And if I want to revoke those permissions, I can do that from my services as well. And then my applets are the actual automations. So when I connect two different services, that's called an applet. So if I connect YouTube to Facebook, if I connect uh, my calendar to my garage door, or my email to my garage door, or whatever, or my lights to my garage door, um, I can do that when my applets. That's where I'm going to see those things. And then create is where we create brand new applets from scratch. Okay, so there's a couple different ways that we create these automations. One is to just search for ones that other people have created. Okay, and we do that right here. If I just type in YouTube, it'll pull up a bunch of different applets or automations that other people have created and are using. So there's a ton of things that you can do. You can explore this if you like. Uh, but for the purposes of this tutorial, I'm just going to show you how to create this from scratch. Okay, so we're going to go up here to your profile and then create right here. And this is where we create brand new applets. So if this, okay, this is where we want to set up our triggering event. This is the, the service that whenever something happens here, it's going to trigger an automation to take an action on a different device or service. This is where we want to connect our YouTube account. Okay, so I can actually scroll through this to see everything that's available or I can just search for it up here. So I'm just going to search for YouTube right there. I'm going to click on this and now it's going to ask me to connect my YouTube account. Okay, so I got to connect and then sign into my account. Okay, once you do that, it's going to let you know what permissions you are granting to IFTTT. I'm just going to click allow. And now we want to choose a triggering event. Okay, so what happens on our YouTube account that's going to start this automation? Is it when we like a new video? Is it when we uh, upload a new video? Is it when we you know, have a new channel membership, a new super chat, whatever, right? So the one that we want for here is new public video uploaded by you. Okay, so if this, then that. Okay, so what do we want to happen when we upload a YouTube video? Click on this, and we're going to search for Facebook. 
right here, Facebook pages. And now we have to connect our Facebook page. And again, we're gonna have to sign in. And after you sign in, it's going to ask you which page do you actually want to connect up to IFTTT. Okay, so if you manage multiple pages, you may have multiple things in this drop down box. So just select whatever page that you want and click update and then choose an action. So what is gonna happen when a new YouTube video is uploaded to YouTube? Okay, do we want to create a status message? Do we want to upload a photo? Or do we want to create a link post? And what we want to do is create a link post. And so what we're doing here is we're formatting the actual post. Okay, so obviously the URL of the YouTube video is gonna be right here. Okay, and then the message that we want to go along with it is something that we can construct. So if I click on add ingredient, it's gonna give me a bunch of things from the YouTube video that can automatically go into this message. So I might wanna say, hey, check out our latest video on YouTube. I'll add a couple spaces and then I'll add an ingredient. And this is all the things that it can pull in from our YouTube video. So one of the things I might wanna pull in is the title, okay? Another thing that I may want to pull in is a description, okay? So whenever we upload a new video, it'll have a link to that video, it'll have this message, and then it'll add the title and description of that video in the Facebook post, okay? I'll click Create Action, and there we go, Review and Finish. So if a new public video is uploaded, then create a link post on your Facebook page. Down here, you can select this toggle, receive notifications when this applet runs. If you don't want a notification, just uncheck this, okay? But if you want to be notified whenever the, the automation runs, leave that checked, okay? Then click finish. And there we go. You've made a new connection. This is a new applet that you've created inside of IFTTT. Now to learn how to get your YouTube videos onto Instagram, you want to watch the video upper right corner of your screen or at the top of the description. I'll see you there.